Hello, today we are gonna uh, extend the peripherals on our uh, Orange uh, Pi Solar Assistant. This microcontroller has only three USB ports and if we want to add more devices it is important to adapt uh, a USB hub. Uh, in this setup we have two inverters, two solar inverters. Uh, our LCD display, it's a very basic HDMI uh, monitor with a, a USB power supply and uh, it simply works doesn't have many special features but it, it's it's perfect for monitoring uh, our inverters uh, locally that's a, a simple very basic USB mouse and this is the most important part today in our video the, uh, the USB hub you have to get an industrial grade USB hub with an external power supply. You don't simply have to extend the USB ports. So if you plug in another USB with six, five or seven uh, USBs, this is not gonna work. You need to get one of this. It is called uh, WaveShare, but anything else that is equivalent to this device is going to work. So you have here uh, two USB inputs and four USB outputs. We'll come back to that very soon. Uh, so we need a power supply for this, 5 watt, and another 5 watt power, sub, 5 volts power supply for uh, uh, the Orange Pi. Out of uh, outlets with uh, UK or European plugs, uh, you can get one of these uh, DC to DC converters. You connect one end to the battery. It takes anything between 90 and 60 volts and you get at the output a very clean and stable 5 volt on a, a USB-C type. So if you connect three of these onto the battery terminal, you can power uh, the devices without having uh, uh, multiple sockets on the wall. Now we have connected two of the inverters to the solar assistant and then you have to get a USB to USB-C cable to feed the data from Solar Assistant to the USB hub. So this is how we extend the data from one device to the other. And then we are free to connect multiple other uh, inverters, screen, mouses, whatever, on the output side. Uh, in our setup, I connected the, uh, the mouse. This is the console cable from the batteries to the USB hub and my HDMI always goes back to the HDMI port of uh, the solar assistant device or my microcontroller. Here we can have a closer look of our uh, uh, screen. Looks really nice, very easy to navigate with our uh, mouse. You can see the production today, you can see live data. When you change tabs, it's quite fast. If it is loading all the data, it can take a few seconds, but it, it is okay, it is acceptable. It is a, an acceptable delay, but it works really well. And bear in mind, it doesn't consume uh, much energy. It's only 10 or 20 watts, the whole setup, including the USB hub. And when you leave your mouse after uh, three minutes, this is going to go into uh, a standby mode. So it doesn't consume any energy at all. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, short video. I hope uh, you found it useful. If you need anything, get in touch with us.